This is Tell Us Your Story, a series of stories from Bethel's family. And it's your story in quotes because really it's God's story at work in your life. If you have a story to share or know someone who does, please be in touch. We would love to feature it. Today's story is from Thomas Martin. You may recognize Thomas from the times when he has shared his gift of song in worship with our congregation. Thomas is from the south side of Chicago, but then moved up here to Lake County. He had been a longtime member of a Missouri Synod congregation and found his way to Bethel. He moved up here to receive VA benefits and work on his disability, especially PTSD. Thomas lives alone with his little dog Teddy, his companion, but tries to stay in touch with his extended family. This is Thomas's story. I mean, this is God's story at work in Thomas's life. I said I live alone with my dog Teddy, and oh, oh, how I'm so thankful that that I have him. But I have grandkids. I have eight, eight, no that I haven't held or seen since this pandemic started. Let alone my other family members, church members, friends and neighbors, that you're forced to treat like leopards. There's a feeling of despair when I think of the possibilities of me ever meeting that special someone in my life, which my heart desires. You know, I, um, these are, like I said, these are depressing times, and I don't want to be selfish as of myself because I feel it my duty as a Christian to pray for others because there's so many things that's going on in this world, and I really think that people just don't have the right attitude. You know, I was in the grocery store shopping, and I'm seeing people without protective gear. You know, I seen one couple, they were wearing gloves, but no masks. You know, hearing how these elderly people are catching it and they're not getting the, the right care. And this just worldwide, you have some people, they, they coming together having parties. The attitudes are just not, just need to be fixed. But as for me, as it says in Scripture, as for me in my house, I worship the Lord, the Lord, and to do my part, I just continue to read my scriptures and pray. You know, I pray. I look for every opportunity that I can to lift up the name of Jesus and spread God's words to any and everyone as I do my travels and walking with Teddy in the morning and greet people with a smile. You know, I recognize and admire the, you know, the what God has given us. When I look at the, the with the hawks flying and soaring in the sky and the squirrels gathering and nuts and the birds singing with each other, you know, there's a special tree that I come across every day and, and <laughs> I call it my prayer tree. You know, he never leave us. He said he'll never leave us. And he's with me. And it's up to me and each and every one of us to extend that to each and every one out there. You know, we all have a mission in this life. You know, we didn't come in here with everything, but he has given us everything, but it's not for us to keep. We need to share it. We need to express wholeheartedly that God is in control. There's so many things I can say about this pandemic. Yes, it's very depressing. And it has a oh it has an effect on all, all of us that's just scary, but we have to trust God. And trusting God with your whole heart, you know that you know, you're in his hands, you know, and it's a, let his will be done. And with that I say amen.